A few days ago, I made a video on how to make a mobile app with ChatGPT. I always read the comments of my subscribers and try to give the replay. While reading the comments on this video, I noticed many are asking to make a video on creating a game with AI. And in today's video, I am gonna do that. So, without further ado, let's dive in. In this video, I will make a simple Android game like Tic-Tac-Toe. Let's open ChatGPT on your browser. Now give the prompt as, I want to make a tic-tac-toe game, generate the mobile responsible HTML, CSS, and JavaScript code for the game and then hit the enter button. You can see ChatGPT generate the codes. Now to try this code, like the previous video, I will use CodePen, after coming to the CodePen website, if you are new to CodePen you have to create an account. Click on sign up from here. Now create an account with Google, GitHub, or your email account. I already have an account. So I am logging in to my existing account. After logging into your account, come to the Create tab and create a new pen. Here you will notice three code options. First, HTML, then CSS, and last JavaScript. Now go back to ChatGPT and copy the HTML code. Paste the code in the CodePen HTML tab, after that copy the CSS code and paste it into the CSS tab. Do it again with the JavaScript code. Now here you can see the preview of our game. That's really works. But it's not looking so good. We can change the background color. To do this we can ask ChatGPT for a new code. Before that, let's know about an extraordinary but 100% free tool for developers. Spreading AI is an AI-powered knowledge base platform for developers, which makes it easy to build a self-service knowledge base for your customers and developers. After coming to Spreading AI, create an account with your email or Google account. After creating an account, you will be redirected to your workspace. Now if you want to create any documentation from your code, come to the private space and create a new page. Give a name to your page. For example, I am giving tic-tac-toe. After that, click on generate documentation from code here. Now select your documentation type. You can select among feature explanations, API explanations, quick start, tutorials, and others. After that, you have to enter the code. I will enter the toe games JavaScript code. After entering the code, select the code language from here. As I enter a JavaScript code, I will select JavaScript. After all is set, hit the generate button. And here it is. You can see how perfectly it creates the documentation. That's really amazing. This tool can save a lot of time for a busy developer. You can create an outline of your documentation with AI. To do this, you can create a new page or a subpage. After coming to a new page, select Generate Outline. Now select Doc Type, Targeted Audience, and Additional Information. And here it is. It creates a perfect documentation outline for us. With this tool, you can create team projects also. After coming to Team Project, create a new project. Give a name to your project. This is our new team project, but it's blank. We can create the whole directory with the help of AI. Come to the main directory and then click on AI from here. Now select the documentation type and targeted audience. After that add a short product description. As you can see, Spreading AI generated a full directory for us. Now you can edit every file with AI. Alright, now if you want to publish this project, you can do it with Spreading AI. You can click on Publish from here or can come to the online site from here. After coming online site, add the title and icon, Favicon. You can add a custom domain and proxy also. After all is set click on the Save button. Your site will be published within 5 minutes. If you are a developer and want to save time, start using Spreading AI just now. Alright, let's come back to the topic. Now I will change the background color of the app. At this time ask ChatGPT for add a linear color in the background. It will generate a new CSS code for us. Copy the code and replace the CSS code from CodePen. Now it's looking better. Now I will change the restart button color, as it's not looking so good. 
Come back to chat GPT again and then give a prompt as change the button color of restart button. Now copy the new code and then paste the code after the last line of the CSS code at CodePen. And here it is. It's looking perfect now. Alright, now I want the result will appear as pop-up. This time I will give a prompt as, I want the result will appear on a new screen. And ChatGPT has generated some new code for us. First, copy the HTML code and come back to CodePen. Now we have to paste the code in the body section of the code and just before the script.js. After pasting the HTML code, copy the CSS code from ChatGPT and paste it after the existing CSS code. Do the same with the JavaScript code. Now let's test how it's working. It's working but the problem is winner's name is not visible. We can fix it by changing the background and text color. Come to ChatGPT and give a prompt for asking to change the result background and text color. I am using red for the background and black for the text. You can use it as you wish. A new CSS code will be generated, simply copy the code and paste it after the existing CSS code in CodePen. Now it's looking perfect. Alright, our app is now working perfectly and the looks are also great. Now click on the save button from here. After that, click on the export button to download the whole code. Download the file as a zip file. And our file has been downloaded as a zip file. Now unzip the file with any zip file extractor. Here it is. Now open the SCR folder. You will see index.html script.js and style.css in this folder. Open the index.html file in any code editor and check the script.js file name to be the same as the JS file in the SCR folder. Also, check the style.css file name to be the same as the CSS file in the SRC folder. There is an extra S on the style.css file. Remove the extra S. OK, save the file. Now we have to host the files on a web hosting platform. You can host on any web hosting platform. I will use TinyHost. It allows free hosting. Come to the TinyHost website and click on Sing Up for Free, create an account with Google or email account. After that, we will upload our file. Click on Upload from here. Now select the zip option. After that, drag and drop the zip file here. After uploading the file, click on Publish. And our site is live. Let's view the site. Oh. It's not working. And cuz is we uploaded the original zip file, where the style.css file is not fixed. To solve this issue we have to delete the original zip file and make a new zip file with the fixed file folder. After doing that, come back to the tiny host and then click on update. Now upload the newly created zip file. And here it is. Now it's working perfectly. Alright, our web app is now live. As I promised to make the mobile app, let's move to the next step. To convert any web app to a mobile app, we can use a tool called Web into App. After coming to the website, paste the URL of your web app, set the app name, and then add an icon. You can download an icon from flaticon.com. After all is set, click on the next button from here. On the next page, click on the Make App button. After processing, set the application type and the description of your app. After all is done you will find your app on this page. Now click on the download icon and then select download free. And your app will be downloaded in a zip file. Unzip the downloaded file and open the unzip folder. You will see apprelease.aab, apprelease.apk, and a release key. Upload the apk file on your Google Drive. Now I will download the APK file and install it on my mobile phone. Let's move to the mobile screen. Download the APK file from Google Drive and then click on the install button. It may require permission as it has not been published yet on the Play Store. And here is our newly made tic-tac-toe game. And it's working perfectly. You can make a more perfect and well-looking game by giving some extra time. Alright friends, I will warp up the video now. Before that, I would love to hear your opinion about creating a mobile game with ChatGPT. Share your thoughts and results in the comments section below.
Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like this one. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, happy creating!